Today we are going to get started with the Name Blinky animation project. To begin, click on the picture. A new window will appear. I'm going to maximize the window by clicking on the square. And I'm going to scroll down. Click to begin. And then we're going to click on background to change our background. That's the first step. Now I'm going to choose a color for my background. I'm going to choose a light color, blue, and I'm going to make my brush size large. And I can color my background. You can color the entire background. For this, I'm just going to color part of the background. Okay, once you're done with the background, go to frame one. And what you're going to do is you're going to choose a color for the first letter in your name. You can also choose a brush size. I'm going to write the first letter in my name. You can make it multiple colors if you want. OK, now I'm going to copy this frame by clicking here. And I'm going to go to frame 2. And I'm going to paste the frame. So now my first letter appears. And on frame two, I'm going to type or write my second letter. I'm going to make this green, the large brush, brush style. If you make a mistake, you can click on undo. I'm going to make it this color also. Now I'm going to copy the frame, and I'm going to paste it in frame 3. And I'm going to use a different color for the S. I'm going to copy the frame. I'm going to go to frame 4 and paste it. And I think I'll choose this color. And I think I'll choose a dark kind of red. You can make the design whatever you want. Okay, now for this animation I chose to only have four frames, but you can have as many frames as you want. You just want to make sure you have enough time because you won't be able to save and edit this later on. When you're all finished, you can play your animation by clicking on play. Let's try that. Perfect. Very nice. Now I want to click on save animation. It's saving my animation. It's going to shave it, save it as a uh, GIF file. That's graphic interchange format. And I'll show you what that means. I'm going to click OK, and I want to save it to my student drive. To do that, I select from the pull-down menu my student number. And you can leave the file name as my drawing, or you can add your name. I'm going to add name blinky. 
and then click Save. Now I'm going to show you how to find it. I'm going to go to My Computer, and I'm going to select my student drive, my H drive. And I'm going to find the file here. Where is that file? Oh, here it is. My drawing, name Blinky. I'm going to right click on that file. And I'm going to go down to Open With. And I'm going to open it in Internet Explorer. This will allow me to play my GIF or my animation. If you open it in Picture Manager or Paint, you're not going to be able to play it. Graphic Interchange Format is a format that allows you to play your animation. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you have it. There's my name blinky. You can add this name blinky to a PowerPoint or on the internet and it will play automatically. Pretty fancy, huh? Have fun creating your own name blinky.